हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज लेक्चर नंबर टू यूनिट नंबर थ्री सॉलिड स्टेट फिजिक्स इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी ब्रिला इन जोन एंड इट्स कंस्ट्रक्शन वी विल सी द कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ फर्स्ट सेकेंड एंड थर्ड ब्रिलॉइन जोन्स सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वॉट इज ब्रिलॉइन जोन ब्रिलॉइन जोन इज नथिंग बट विग्नर सेल सेल इन रेसिप्रोकल लैटिस इन अदर वर्ड्स द यूनिट सेल ऑफ रेसिप्रोकल लैटिस मे बी नोन एज ब्रिलॉइन जोन एंड द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ रेसिप्रोकल लैटिस एंड विग्नर सेल सेल वी हैव ऑलरेडी स्टडीड इन अवर प्रीवियस लेक्चर्स एंड द लिंक्स फॉर दोज लेक्चर्स आर ऑल्सो गिवन इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ दिस वीडियो नाउ वी विल सी स्टेप बाय स्टेप द कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ फर्स्ट सेकेंड एंड थर्ड ब्रिलॉइन जोन सो कंसिडर द रेसिप्रोकल स्पेस विच कंसिस्ट ऑफ लार्ज नंबर ऑफ रेसिप्रोकल पॉइंट्स सपोज दिस वाइट सर्कल्स आर लार्ज नंबर ऑफ रेसिप्रोकल लैटिस पॉइंट्स ओके एंड कंसिडर दिस एज अ सेंटर्ड रेसिप्रोकल लैटिस पॉइंट तो दिस इज अ सेंटर्ड रेसिप्रोकल लैटिस पॉइंट्स ओके now draw the imaginary lines okay from this origin suppose this centered lattice point is present at the origin so we have to draw all imaginary connecting connecting lines to nearby lattice points okay so these lines are shown as a dashed lines and i am connecting all nearby lattice points okay from nearby lattice point from the origin to neighboring lattice points okay so i have drawn 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 imaginary line connecting to origin and nearby lattice points okay now we have got eight lines okay now second step is we have to draw perpendicular bisector to each lines so there are eight lines so we will draw eight perpendicular bisectors okay so suppose this is the perpendicular bisector to this line this is 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 perpendicular bisector to this line meet at this point this is perpendicular bisector to this line okay this is perpendicular bisector to this line perpendicular bisector this is perpendicular bisector and to this line this is perpendicular bisector to this line so we have drawn eight perpendicular bisector okay to each connecting lines okay so these eight perpendicular bisectors this eight perpendicular bisector shown by this line okay these lines are nothing but the bracts plane are nothing but the bracts planes if we remove this dashed lines okay then the area enclosed by this origin and first bracts plane suppose this is first bracts plane if i move from this origin to this one this is first bracts plane in this direction if i move if i move from this origin to this bracts plane this is first bracts plane if i move in downward position so this is first bracts plane if i move in right position so this is first bracts plane so area enclosed by the origin and first bracts plane is nothing but the first brillouin zone it is nothing but the first brillouin zone okay and the area enclosed in between first bracts plane if i move from first bracts plane to this side so this are nothing but the second bracts plane so area between the first bracts plane and the second bracts plane is nothing but second brillouin zone in this direction in this direction the area between first bracts plane and second bracts plane this is the second brillouin zone in the downward direction the area between first and second bracts plane that is second brillouin zone in left direction the area between first bracts plane and the second bracts plane is nothing but second brillouin zone so these are the second brillouin zones okay in the middle this is first brillouin zone uh, shown by the yellow dark portion and these are the second brillouin zone shown by the red dark portion okay 
now these are the steps to construct Brillouin zone first and second Brillouin zone then the question is how to construct third Brillouin zone so for constructing third Brillouin zone okay suppose we have to connect two nearby lattice points from the origin if this is the origin in this right side these are the two nearby lattice points two lattice points okay in left direction these are two lattice points in upward mm -hmm. direction these are two lattice nearby lattice point in downward direction these are two nearby lattice point means we have to consider the neighbor and next ne nearest neighbor okay so suppose i am connecting this neighbor and next nearest neighbor in this right direction in up direction neighbor and next nearest neighbor okay in left direction neighbor and next nearest neighbor in downward direction neighbor and next next nearest neighboring lattice points okay so and then we have to draw perpendicular to this green dashed line okay so i am drawing the perpendicular to this dashed line this is the perpendicular okay again i am showing the perpendicular to this right right hand side green dashed line this is perpendicular left hand side green dashed line uh, sorry this up up green dashed line this is the perpendicular bisector now this left dashed line this is the perpendicular bisector and this is downward green dashed line so this is perpendicular bisector okay if i remove this dashed lines then the area enclosed between second bracket plane okay the area enclosed between second bracket plane and third bracket plane is nothing but third brillouin zone so here is this this is third brillouin zone here is this uh, the third brillouin zone here this is third brillouin zone here this is third brillouin zone okay the area enclosed between second and third bracket plane this is second bracket plane and this is third bracket plane the area in between second and third bracket plane is nothing but the third brillouin zone so this is the simple and easy process to construct brillouin zone okay construct brillouin zone so we have studied the construction of first second and third brillouin zone thank you